Welcome to World of Warships. I'm Hamas the Fleetmaster 28, and I'll be your guide to the high seas. So you've taken the first step and downloaded the game, and are now well on your way. This is the home port. It's where you're gonna house all of your ships. Your first ship is a tier 1 ship. There are 10 tiers, and they get progressively better with more firepower, armor, and abilities. But the enemies you face are gonna get tougher as well. You have several tier 1 ships at your disposal. All information can be found on the right. This includes statistics on survivability, artillery, anti-aircraft capabilities, and more. Now you don't have much to change in your port right now. This will change once you hit level 2. Now let's play and learn the controls. This is your ship queue. This shows how many ships within your current tier are looking for a game. Now that we're in a game, let's pause for a moment and look at what's on the screen. On the bottom left, you have your ship's health, bearing, and speed. These are important numbers to watch to ensure that you don't make any simple mistakes. Health being how much more punishment your ship can take, your current bearing, which is your direction you are currently traveling, and your speed in knots, showing how fast you're going. At the top right, we have the current score. Sinking enemy ships increases your score while lowering theirs. Capturing objectives and holding points will also increase this score. Aiming is done with the mouse, and your guns will always try to move to your current mouse position. Free cam mode can be enabled by holding down the right click so that you can view another angle without moving your guns. Your throttle is shifted with the W and S keys, and your direction is adjusted with the A and D keys. Pressing shift will zoom you all the way into the maximum ability of the ship. Down at the bottom, you will notice that it says AP. That is your shell type. Most ships allow you to choose between AP, armor piercing, and HE, high explosive. This ship only has access to armor piercing shells, along with two frontal cannons. For maximum efficiency, you're going to want to shoot ships that are showing you their broadside. This means that they are showing their entire length to you. In this instance, you can watch as the enemy AI makes the mistake of showing me its full broadside leading to its inevitable destruction. You never want to show the enemy your broadside as that provides the largest surface area that you can hit. In this next engagement you can see that I'm able to land most if not all of my shots because I'm able to hit their broadside. At such close quarters it's near impossible that I'm going to miss. At much longer ranges you have to take into account the distance to your target and the speed that your rounds can travel because you're more than likely going to overshoot or undershoot the target unless you're at such close range. You can see here just how I'm able to overtake him by going behind and using that to my advantage. Most ships cannot turn their guns fast enough if your guns are trained on them first. Moving around ships and using your superior mobility is always a good advantage you can gain to blow up enemy ships. So great news, we've won the battle, and from here you're given a number of statistics, the amount of credits you receive, the amount of ship experience you receive, and the amount of convertible XP. That convertible XP pretty sure I'm saying it wrong, lets you upgrade and buy modules for ships other than the ones you have just used. And now that you've unlocked modules, you will be able to use that ship XP to unlock new modules for your ship. These modules will then be purchased with credits and installed onto your ship, increasing your defensive capabilities along with your offensive ones. Lastly, at this point, your next battle will let you hit service level 3, and with that you will unlock random player versus player battles. 
There are many more important service level milestones, but for now, you have the basics required to start sinking ships. This is Hamas 28, and I'll see you next time.